Welcome back to the garage guys. Today we're going to be building the frame using these two jigs here. This main one being used for the frame, the, the main frame, and this smaller one here uh, being used to build the triple tree. Now the reason why we did spend some time making these two jigs is because we think this is going to be such a fun project that we're going to have to build a second one. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to go, to, go ahead and weld this uh, triple tree. We just made a little uh, quick jig on a board and a little sketch. We'll show you uh, what we've done after we do the tacking, but we'll get it tacked together now. Going to take a couple of hands to get this done. Good. So what we did here, guys, is we just made a little uh, a little jig to hold this on. Must have got some slag on it. So I made a little jig just to hold the squareness between these verticals, between the verticals and this thing here so we just drew a line on here and um, squared it up with the line held it put the jig on and then tacked it into place so we've got this done we've got our triple tree all tacked up um, you can see the nice notches that the plasma cutter made and you can see our top triple tree and our bottom triple tree we weld across here so guys we decided to make this little jig for the um, frame assembly on this. We made a little of a, an adjustment here. We plasma cut that out when we did the other pieces. We just didn't show it. We also have um, a little mandrel where the neck tube fits on. So um, we just dropped the tubes in and Jackson's gonna drop them in. And first we wanna look at the notch that came off the plasma cutter. And that's a basic notch. It's just the full set of it is going to mate up to the tube. So if we take a look at that, 100% of that um, tube is on there, is matching. Now when the other one got notched, it's a special notch. And if we look at that, it's kind of crazy looking because it's notched to the neck and it's notched to the second pipe and again fusion took care of that for us when we drew it so if we take a look here we can see how they're notching together and they're fitting in just about perfect right there um, we've got a little bit of a rounded seam in here but that's not going to be a big deal because we'll run the bead straight but if we take a look at this notching on here that Fusion and our rotary axis did, just came out with a very simple, easy method. Now, with this, we, um, we're shooting for about a 25 degree uh, neck on there. So we've zeroed out the angle finder and to 90. And we're running at 24.7, so 3 tenths of a degree. Uh, we're happy with that. We're going to spot this up and start working on the frame.
the next step we got guys is we got the motor mount. Uh, remember we plasma cut this out um, and we made the bend line so now we're going to have to take a minute and weld this together so we can mount it in. So we need to get this mounted in here and set the engine in and then we got to custom fab this top piece. Remember we need to do that because we didn't want to draw the engine. So it's just going to take a couple minutes to get this welded up and then we'll drop the engine in and get it a uh, get the uh, top piece fabbed and then we'll have a frame. Just took a couple of five minutes to get that thing welded in, tacked together. Uh, plasma cutting uh, sure did a, sure made this a quick job. So we got the engine plate welded up. Um, look good. Nice and done. So we'll get that set in. But we're going to first put in the uh, wheelie bar tabs. So we're going to get those set in real quick. So we fabbed up the upper backbone bar. Um, we decided to bend that angle near the mount at uh, 50 or 49 degrees, and it's got a three degree rise in it. So that equals 52 degrees, which the seat pan angle has. So the seat pan has an angle of 52 degrees. So we tried to match up the angle of the seat pan. Fits in there nice. Uh, we've got her all, we've got the engine mount tacked into place and we're ready to just put the seat mount tab on and drill a hole for the other seat mount and then we're ready for final weld on the frame. Well, we've got everything tacked together and time for final weld. So Jackson's gonna go ahead and hit the final weld.
Well, we've got the final weld done, guys, on the garage vlog trike that we're putting together. Uh, next step is the paint and final assembly. It took about, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes to get everything final welded, and then we hit it with a wire brush, wire wheel on the grinder to to uh, knock off some of the slag and brighten it up a little bit. We'll, we will have to do a little bit of a hand sanding and polishing and things like that to get it ready for final paint but it's it's near ready for final paint with that we'd like to say thanks for watching make sure to like and subscribe to the channel